Hi everybody, I hope everybody's having a good day wherever they are. Uh, like I say in all my videos, I'm not responsible if anybody gets hurt. It's just my opinion. Sometimes I swear today I'm going to do a tarot reading on Jennifer Ann Gardner. She's ex-husband to uh, Ben Affleck. Um, she was born April 17th, 72 in Houston, Texas. And she was raised in uh, Charleston, West Virginia. And she was in Pearl Harbor. She was in the, um, she was in Daniel Stu's Zoe, I think, time of a Fox teen drama called Time of Your Life, Catch Me If You Can. I think that was with Tom Hanks. Um, and she was ma also married to Scott Foley from 2000 to 2004. And Ben Affleck, like I said, from 2004 to 2018 and she has three children I guess she was in the uh, thriller Al Atlas from 2001 to 2006 and she was on 13 going a cu couple uh, uh, sh shows called uh, movies called going on 13 Gino ghost of girlfriend's past Valentine's Day dirt devil and the sequel for her double. So I've never really seen too many of her things. She's an okay actress, Jennifer Gardner. So, yeah. So um, I'm going to do a special reading. Uh, it's going to be with the, um, her past. It's going to be her past, present, and fu future. I'm learning different, um, different uh, spreads. And I think it will be fun to try different spreads. So I'm going to do a past and present and future spread for her I might do this occasion sometimes t t so it would be fun like I said I'm not the best shuffler all right do, 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 do. Uh, please tell me about the past the present and the future for Jennifer Gardner shuffling for one more please tell me about Jennifer Gardner her past relationships her past marriage her work ethic and all the above and blah 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 and blah blah, blah. <laughs> so there eh, I'm getting a little bit better <laughs> shuffling all right here we go please tell me Here we go. This is going to be, I don't know how long this is. I try to do um, not too long. Do, do, do. And then I'll show it to you after I'm done. Some, sometimes cards have a mind of its own. They want to flip. Like I said all the time, I am learning. So, okay. Uh, it her past. Oh, oh. So this is her, this, these first three are her past. Um, the first card is the Queen of Pentacles, upright. She's a nurturing person in her past relationships with her, uh, with her people she worked with when she was a, a ki kid. Um, and when she was, and she was financial her, with her parents and her family. And she had working parents that worked hard. And she was working hard. When she started being an actress, she liked to work hard. And she liked to help people. 
Um, this is unf unfolding. She was acute access to greatness. Open up for you slowly. You are growing to learn and more and keep expanding. See, this. Uh, I guess this pl plan is opening up and unfolding. So you're going to learn and expand by learning different techniques. I guess when she was being wanted to be a kid she wanted to learn learn and do different things and also when she was going to um be a actor she wanted to do different um different acting jobs you know like she was in the she was in um expen um a bunch of different show shows like you know um in the past and this one is the heartbreak she had heartbreak in, in past relationships i feel like she had uh in in the past passion you know with her first marriage and last boyfriend she had heartbreak heartbreak is a part of human experience it will pass it will pass so she had heartbreak in the past all right in the present she is transferring change leaving behind baggage so in the present she's trying to move on from ben affleck and his his relationship with Ben Affleck and moving forward because I have kids or trying to, you know, work through it. She doesn't want the trauma with her, his, his ex-husband and his wife or soon to be ex-wife or whatever. He's, he, she, she, yeah, she, he wants, she wants change and she wants to do not have to deal with uh, Ben Affleck's wife's problems and their ending marriage so she doesn't want to deal with it and the other one is answers with the key um you will res resolve your current situation soon work wise you will unique ways to stand out you will open new opening with job security yeah she's looking for new opportunities she probably um you know even though she's uh you know raising her kids she she's um with her husband um she wants to do other work she's probably bored doing the same kind of comedies and stuff she probably wants to try something else you know she wants security for to get a better job she's tired of probably the same kind of silly uh comedies and stuff she feels you know she wants to do something different in the in her love life sorry i dropped another card um this is love is beautiful journey you on the right path i think she's looking for another relationship or she's in a re new relationship she wants to start a new relationship and hopefully it will be in the right path because she doesn't it shows the girl in the right path see she's looking in the right path which side to go to left or right she's not sure which one way she's going to go i love this one and in the future All right, here it comes. Uh, long term, term, har hard work, sort of difference. So yeah, she, um, upright, long term view, hard working. Yeah, she, he wants to. This is the uh, seven of pentacles. He's a hard worker now. She, she's a hard worker. She wants to. Uh, do hard work and find results in her uh in the job she wants to do she wants to find uh successful she wants to be very successful when she in the future she doesn't want to be you know looking for her ex-husband's help she wants to do it herself and she's a hard worker she'll be a really hard work in the in the future And she wants to not be the one who does the hard work, have her husband, boyfriend do the hard work. She wants to be the one. And she's stable and she wants results in the future. Um, also, she renew. You'll need to take time to recharge your energy back on track. Yeah, she needs to renew her. She needs to take take time to, to go back on track because sometimes, you know, in the future... She doesn't know which way to go, so she she's going to take take a. She wants to relax and 
uh, you know, take it easy and recharge your batteries, you know, in the present, she might want to take a trip or something and renew her batteries, like they say, like do or sell. So she, she wants to take, she wants to take, uh, she needs a, uh, change. She and wants to go back on track, you know, to take, she wants to take it easy to and chill in the future. Um, and this is the uh, romance of love and in the future a deep connections going beyond superficial traction so she, she, in the future she is in a deep connection with uh, with another loved one maybe she'll meet some guy that does a good uh, uh, attraction to her maybe you find someone who's will make her happy like another um, spouse another uh, boyfriend she'll look for a new relationship that would make her feel better and not be draining her. And, and it won't be superficial, meaning like uh, he he wants, you know, she she's not into superficial people who are just for the glim and the glam. She wants someone who likes her for herself, not her being a superstar. So that's the future. She wants someone who will take her for who she is and not the celebrity that she is in the future future relationship so that hopefully i did on good on that and also i'm gonna do a future let me look that's the relationship okay uh, all right that was her working card these were her working cards okay now i'm gonna do what's going on with his, his her and her ex-husband, uh, uh, Ben Affleck, with all the drama with uh, Jeff Lopez, it, uh, we know that she wants to get away from it, but is she really going to be a, get away with the drama of Ben Affleck? And I'm sorry, let me see. It's because she wants, I feel like she wants to get out of the drama of being with Ben and Jennifer. So let's see if that's really going to happen. Please tell me. Please let me know. Is he she going to stay away from the drama of her ex-husband and stuff like that? Or is she stuck? Because she doesn't want to be stuck. And the other reading, she wants to stay away from the drama, you know, the craziness. Her being, she doesn't want to be on television with it. She wants to just be left alone like Ben wants to be alone. He, ben wants to be left alone. He doesn't want the parazzi. The same with Jennifer. She, she seems like she wants to be left alone. So please tell me what's, what's in the future. I'm going to do three cards. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yes, she wants to be left alone really bad. She doesn't like it. She doesn't want it. Okay, I'm going to read it. This is the sun. That's fire. She wants success and happiness. She doesn't want the drama of uh, being with Jennifer Lopez. She's sick and tired of them. She's being sucked. She doesn't want to be sucked in the middle of their drama. She, she's so sick of it. She wants to be happy. And she wants Ben to be happy and all of these people to be happy. Positivity and warmth. She wants them to get try to get along. Jennifer Lopez, try to get along and not have all this drama. And, and she wants to think positive. She doesn't want to think negative, even though Ben and them are pulling each other. Uh, this is the world. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is an earth sign, the world. Accomplishment, success, harmony, travel. Like she would like to travel. Who wouldn't? She she and get away from all her problems. Uh not just her uh ex husband and her his wife. Who wouldn't, you know, you stay away. She wants to triumph, get famil fam um fulfillment from another relationship or the way things are. She tired of the drama and she wants success, success, you know, she, um, 
from on the relationship. She wants to pretty much take it easy and doesn't want to be in the problem. She, I feel like she she doesn't she she wants to travel and have harmony and not have problems with Ben and uh and Jennifer Lopez. She's she's tired of all the like I said, she wants to be happy like this. She wants to be happy. She doesn't want drama. She's tired of it. She wants success. She wants to travel. She wants to feel a fulfillment. She doesn't want any trouble. She she wants to be left alone, basically. And this is the six of of uh, six uh, wands in reverse. She he, she's frazzled and she's got society about their relationship uh, and her future relationship. She's nervous because she's been through the ringer with Jennifer and Ben and Ben having problems with his drinking and and that. I'm going to look that up too. Um, yeah, she, 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 feel, she feels uh, she doesn't trust him 100% because of, not because of the kids, because of his last drinking and, um, and his smoking and pr the promises that he would quit drinking and you know he probably promised he would cut down on and he went to AE meetings and then when he met Jennifer he lost last um lost the uh trust with Jennifer Gardner so he, she's frazzled and she has anxiety over Ben Ben you know promising that he'd get help through AA and all those things to get his health he, you know health and his head better before their marriage come poop. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna ask one more question. Is that the reason why they got divorced was the drinking and his drinking and his smoking and maybe she he cheated on her? Let's see. Is that the reason why Jennifer uh, Garner and Ben Affleck's marriage uh, deteriorated and went bad? It was because of his smoking, his drinking and maybe cheated on her? We'll see if he cheated on her too. If we have time, we'll ask that. If not, we'll just do the drinking, the drinking and the smoking because he was like had a real bad drinking problem. We did that in the cards and it says he has a major, he's an alcoholic and he likes to smoke. He's like a chain smoker, almost. You always see him with a cigarette. So, likes to smoke a lot. So, please let me know um for jennifer's point of view is that the because we're doing her is that the reason why uh their marriage s collapsed and got divorced is because of the smoking and drinking i'll do three uh, do, 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 do. whoa yes yes definitely the drugs and i mean the smoking and the alcohol all right, this is upright. The devil, uh, he would his addiction, bingo. He was addicted to alcohol. That um, alcohol and the smoking and who knows what else. Uh, and he couldn't stop, and that really destroyed his relationship with Jennifer. Is the smoking and the drinking? And I don't know if he did drugs or being unfaithful. I don't know if he was unfaithful. So that really did damage and destructive behavior. Yeah, it was destructive in the relationship. Probably when they were dating, everything was um, fine and everything um, with Jennifer. But then once the honeymoon period was over, he 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 turned his to, to the bad habits, his drinking, his uh, smoking and whatever he did. Um, yeah, he, seduction. Maybe he cheated on her too. You never know. I wasn't there. Yeah, so bad things happen. That's the re upright, the devil upright. And this was saving money. She was trying to save, uh, maybe she, he wasn't saving money. He liked to spend money and she wanted to save money. She wanted to save money and yeah save money and and she's kind of conservative with her money and he's kind of wants to spend it and you know and that probably fought over money too money 
that's the um, four of pentacles. Yeah, she wanted to save and he liked to spend and, you know, and have a good time. He probably saved some, but not much. And this is her point of view. All right, this is the full upright um, new beginnings. She was hoping new beginnings in the relationship. Um, in the relationship, she was hoping positive uh, relate with the relationship. Um, she was hoping that their marriage would get better, but obviously it didn't. And true to, uh, and she was a blind faith to the relationship. Probably for a couple, for a few years after, she was trying to think positive. Um, oh, this marriage is gonna turn out well, but she was blind to the blind to the relationship, and she was trying to be optimism. You won't believe it. Another. Uh, the judgment in reverse popped out when I was doing that. So I'll read it real quick. She, power of planning. She was, you know, after the marriage had um, done, was bad, she tried to um, not have better planning. She had poor planning when it came to the marriage dissolving. Maybe she didn't think the money, he was going to try to get after the money. But he, she wasn't so sure of the money that she, that she did, wasn't planning to divorce him. So the mo money was an issue. She thought he wouldn't give her enough money when they went through. I don't know. I don't think they had. This sounds to me like they did not have a prenup because it says poor planning. So they did not have a prenup. So there was poor planning when it came to money after the marriage dissolved. So, Jen, when she was divorcing Ben, uh, and the, uh, and he had, oh, he's a narcissistic. He has some narcissistic in him. This card says, uh, lack of confidence and narcissism. Ben Affleck, you're an, it says you're a narc. You have some narcissistic traits. We all have. He has more than others. She, because she's not a narcissistic, even though she left her divorced one husband for the other, but we're doing um, her to him. She she thinks he's a narcissistic and she got sick and tired of his immature. She probably thought he was very getting immature and, and, she, and she was insecure about how much money he was going to give her. So this is a interesting reading. She, when they were getting divorced, um, she, she thought he was... Uh, like I said in this one, um, he, he he was sexual with other women. He she thought toward the end of their marriage, oh boy. He, so he she thought she he cheated on her and had addiction. So yeah, like I said, he smoked, he drank, he was trying to hide. He, he probably was trying that to hide this from you know the public. So she, he has a real drink. He is a real drink in the marriage. It got destroyed because of his alcoholism and his drug, um, smoking, sorry, smoking, and his, he cheated on women with her, with, uh, with, um, on, on her, so, oh, poor Jen, I know it takes two marriages, she probably was no saint either, but the cards say he cheated on her, he was not a good husband to her toward the end, he cheated, he the drug, he smoked, he drank, he cheated, he uh, he has some narcissistic, he's a narcissistic tendencies, he's a narcissistic, so it is what the cards told me, so into my next reading, take care, and bye-bye, and this is entertainment purposes only, bye-bye.